Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving light dependent circuits. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you can apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question one says that the following circuit is used to turn on an LED in certain light conditions. So we have a rechargeable battery over here, we then have a fixed resistor and an LDR, and then we have a component X and an LED next to a resistor R. Part A then says name component X and state its function. Well, component X, because it's got an arrow that is not pointing in, is an NPN transistor. And its function is that it acts as a switch to turn the LED on or off. Part B says to describe how the circuit works when light intensity decreases. Well, to start, we need to think about the rule for LDRs, which is LURD. So remember that means as light intensity goes up, resistance of the LDR goes down. So in this case, we're starting by talking about what happens when light intensity goes down, which means that it must be the opposite. So we can start by saying that when light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. And this causes the voltage across the LDR to increase, because remember, whatever happens to the resistance will happen to the voltage, because the two are directly proportional. Next, we can say that when the voltage across the NPN transistor reaches 0.7 volts, it switches on, and lastly, this in turn switches on the LED. So just to show you this in the circuit diagram, we're saying that as light intensity decreases, the resistance of the LDR increases. So that means the voltage across the LDR increases, and when the voltage across the LDR there increases, that causes the voltage across the transistor to increase, and eventually when that reaches 0.7 volts, it will switch on, which in turn switches on the LED. Part C says why is there a resistor R in series with the LED? Well remember, it's there to protect the LED from too large a current passing through it. Question 2 says that a photographic darkroom has a buzzer that sounds when the light level in the room is too high. The circuit diagram for the buzzer system is shown below. So here we have a 5 volt supply, we have an LDR as the upper component and a variable resistor as the lower component. We then have a resistor, a transistor and a buzzer. Part A says to name component X and state its purpose in the circuit. So notice how this one, just like in question 1, has an arrow that is not pointing in. So that means this is an NPN transistor and its purpose in the circuit is to act as a switch to turn the buzzer on and off. So instead of an LED this time, we've got a buzzer. Part B says that the darkroom door is opened and the light level increases. Explain how the circuit operates to sound the buzzer. So we want to start by thinking about what happens when light intensity goes up. So we want to use the same rule as before, LURD for LDRs. So as light goes up, resistance of the LDR goes down. So we can start by saying when light intensity increases, the resistance of the LDR decreases. This causes the voltage across the LDR to decrease, which must mean that the voltage across the variable resistor increases. So first of all, the voltage across the LDR goes down because the resistance of the LDR goes down, and remember that's because voltage and resistance do the same thing, because they're directly proportional. But now we want to know what happens to the voltage across the variable resistor because that is the lower component in the circuit. So the voltage across that increases, which means that when the voltage across the NPN transistor reaches 0.7 volts, it switches on. Lastly, this in turn switches on the buzzer. Just to show you this when looking at the circuit, we're saying that as light intensity increases, the resistance of the LDR decreases, which means that the voltage across the LDR decreases as well. And if the voltage across the LDR decreases, this must mean that the variable resistor here takes a greater share of this supply voltage 5 volts. So the voltage across the variable resistor will be increasing, and remember the voltage across the lower component and the transistor are the same, so when the voltage across the transistor reaches about 0.7 volts, then it switches on, which will in turn switch on the buzzer. Part C says what is the purpose of the variable resistor R in this circuit? Well we want to think about what a variable resistor does in the first place, it allows you to change the resistance in a circuit and therefore the current. And in switching circuits, variable resistors have an advantage over fixed resistors in that they can allow you to control the conditions. So we can say that it allows you to control the conditions at which the transistor and therefore the buzzer will switch on or off. And the conditions here that we're talking about is the intensity of the light. So with a variable resistor in the circuit, you can control the light level at which the transistor and the buzzer will switch on or off. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching, if you made it to the end I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.